Did you know that one-fifth of all people are two-tenths? It's a true story. Ask your math teacher. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Senator from Rock Chaplaincy and here is your morning reflection. So, have you ever heard the saying, you can cut the tension with a knife? I think the purpose of this phrase is to point out that the tension feels so real, it has a physical form that could be cut with a knife. Now, what the cutting implement is doesn't really matter. What matters is what brings about our tension in our lives, and furthermore, how we can cut through it or break through our tension and frustrations. In order to examine this, we need to note our areas of tension, and I'm sure that there are many, and they usually lead to stress. Stress is often thought up as a grown-up condition, but young people also can experience stress. Stress in youth can result from school, homework, friends, family disruptions, changes in our routines, among other situations, just like our global pandemic. Stress can be observed as an obvious physical reaction, such as crying or a headache, or it can be an emotional or behavior reaction, such as worrying or shyness. Reactions to stress can vary throughout our lives, but don't worry, there are several strategies that you can do to help cope with stress. The first is exercise. This is one of the best stress relief activities for young people, as well as adults. So while things do look different right now, there are lots of things that we can do to be physically active in our own homes. Even just getting up every hour or so to stretch our legs and move our bodies can help us reduce the stress of sitting and staring all day. So try and get up every so often. Um, deep breathing, we all know how to count, so we can learn on how to deep breathe and use these exercises to help lower our stress. Slowly counting in, an inhale to four, and then exhaling to the next count of four. And this type of a deep breathing should be done for several minutes to help us calm ourselves. I know I use deep breathing when I've had really um, stressful times in my life. Talking about our stress is also very important. It's, uh, it's important to have family and friends who are good listeners, who we can come to with the slightest of problems in our lives. They are going to be good listeners who can help us and give us the advice that we need. But it's also important to just want to talk things out also with a trusted adult to help you through, maybe like a godparent or a family friend or a close relative. Another way is prayer. Prayer is a spiritual exercise that helps strengthen your own spirit as well as your connection to God. The more you pray, the more intimate your relationship with God will become. It involves more than just asking for help. You can discuss the happenings of your day. You can give thanks to him for all his divine blessings. And you could ask him to share his blessings with your family and the whole world. You can even use it as a way to listen to God. St. Paul reminds us to not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I know when I'm stressed or worried, I always take a moment, thank God for my feelings, ask for his guidance. Sometimes even the smallest prayer can make the most impact for us. So as we go through our tense Thursday today, let us ask God to guide us and give us the strength that we need to endure the tensions in our lives and find a moment to thank God for these tensions, for through them is how we can truly flourish as children of God. Grant us the grace of patience. Amen. Saint Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Mr. Sedra from Rock Chaplaincy. Have a wonderful Thursday.